Welcome into this how-to video on how to turn Google Slides into Boom Cards. I've done a how-to on this already, however, it didn't work out exactly as I was hoping. So I'm going to show you again, hopefully with a clearer description of how to take a Google Slide and turn it into Boom Cards or a Boom Deck. So uh, there's a whole bunch of steps. I've listed them down in the description. Um, you'll have to open your Google Slideshow. We're going to download it as a PowerPoint so that we can more easily save uh, the slides as JPEGs or image files. Um, now you could do this straight from Google Slides. Um, you can click on File and you can click on Download and you can click on JPEG here. However, that only will download the current slide, so you'll basically have to repeat that process for however many slides that you have. In my case, it would be 23 times I'd have to click on file, download, JPEG. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to download it as a PowerPoint first because when you have it in a PowerPoint, you can save the PowerPoint slides as JPEGs and it will save all of them basically in one fell swoop. Um, after we save it as JPEGs, then it's a matter of uploading it to wow.boomlearning.com. Um, and then I'll go through some basic editing stuff that I do. So anyways, here we are. Find your Google Slideshow that you want to use. Go to File, uh, Download. We're going to download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint. It will download. Let's just assume it has. We'll go to our Downloads folder. Ah, there we go. And so the other thing I'll say is that the more organized you can be, the better off you could be. So here I have a folder where I keep all my boom card material. So I'm going to slide my downloaded um, PowerPoint into there. And then we're done with this downloads. So this is called one dash patterns because it's a first grade patterns lesson. I'm going to create a new folder with the same name. I like to keep my naming the same for these so that we can avoid confusion later on. So now I have it here um, and we're basically done with the Google Slides. So I'm going to open it as a PowerPoint. Once it's open as a PowerPoint, I'm going to do any editing that I need to do. Um, that way I can make sure that it is the best version possible before I go ahead and upload it. So we're going to enable editing. Now there's a ton of stuff on here that I don't need. I wanted to spare you from the editing process because it one took me longer than I thought and two I didn't really think that was the idea of this video. I just wanted to show you how you can take Google Slides and move them over to Boom Cards easily. If you want a video on other stuff let me know. All of my PowerPoint edits are finished, so now the next step is to save them as JPEGs or image files. Now, of course, you want to make sure that you save all the work that you've done on your PowerPoint, so you can just click on the Save icon in the upper corner, so all my edits are saved if I need to go back and adjust something. So the next step, like I said, is to save it as JPEGs. So I go to File, Save As. Now you can find your folder over here or if you need to you can click on browse so mine's going into my boom cards one dash patterns folder which is where i want it now i don't want to save it as a powerpoint presentation so i click on this and it brings up this whole list of things so I scan through here and find jpeg file interchange format click on that now you'll notice there's no other jpegs in this folder so it says no items match your search that's fine because there are no pictures in that folder yet. So I'm going to click on Save. Now here it says, which slides do you want to export? This is where I like PowerPoint more than Google Slides for this. Either I can do all my slides or just the one that I have highlighted. I'm going to do all my slides. And it will go ahead and save each of them into that folder. So I click OK. So right now, should be done with my PowerPoint. I can X this out. Uh, I'll definitely make sure that I save any changes. So now let's go back into that folder, 1-patterns. 
So it made an extra folder for me, which is where all of my pictures are saved, which is great. Um, but I do want to adjust that a little bit. Now I'm going to rename this folder to pictures because that is what is in here is the pictures of the slides. That's going to help me out a little bit because I'm also going to make a new folder for sounds. Basically the sounds is where I'm going to do some voiceover recordings. So that should be good. Next step, I'm going to go into here, go into my wow.boomlearning.com. I'm going to go into my studio. So here we are. This is my studio. I'm going to go to, um, actually first, before I make the deck, I got to upload my images. I go to images. So I'm going to make a new folder. Again, I'm going to name it the same thing as the folders before one dash patterns and click OK. I'm going to find my one dash patterns and I'm going to go to upload image. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, I'm going to navigate to where these are located, uh, one dash patterns. So I'm going to go into my pictures folder. So you can click the first one and shift click to the end one and upload it that way. However, I find that this sometimes puts them out of order. And one thing that I've liked doing more now that I've found this little trick is I actually upload them in reverse order. So I'm going to click on slide 20 and then I'll put slide 20 in there and then I'll upload image. It'll take me right back to where I was. So I'll click on slide 19. I'll drop 19. And I'll keep doing this 18, 17, and so on. All right, all my images are uploaded and they are all in order from one all the way to 20. So now I can back out of here, go back into my studio. Um, at this point, I'm going to click on make decks and I'm going to go ahead and click. So, well, I could start a new deck from scratch or if I have one that's already set up. So like this place value one has a two option thing here or this rules and laws has two options or this fifth ordering fractions has two options. So I could select one of those and clone those. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, let's just go ahead and create a new one. I'll show you what I do from scratch. So creating a new one on my template card. Uh, I'm not going to do anything with that just yet. I'll show you in a second. So I'm going to click. Um, so you can collect new cards from images. So you click on this. This is helpful. It says useful for PowerPoint users. I'll click yes. So I make sure that my one patterns is set and then I click one and then I click two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to try something here. I'm going to try clicking them out of order at the very end and click OK and see how it puts them in. Perfect. I didn't realize that, but it puts them in the order that you click them in. So as long as you click them in the correct order, it'll put them in the right order. So I'd went ahead and switch those back. So now all my things are in. I can delete this slide. We don't need that. So I've gone ahead and jumped forward in time and have a more completed set of boom cards done. What I like to do is I like to do voiceovers for each of my cards to kind of read the description to students because uh, this is designed for a first grade student and I want to make sure that they are able to understand what to do and how to do it so there's descriptions and how to do certain things some of these are set up to auto play some of them are set up to play only if they click on them on each card I have answer choices that I need to go through and edit and I need to edit these sound files if you'd like to find out more about how to do those things, I'll make up some more videos. If you have any questions or comments, then of course leave them in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more.